Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you the Tornado 1200 battery charger from Top Don. The folks at Top Don sent me this battery charger maintainer uh, free of charge to do a short video on, so thank you very much for that. Let's open this up and check it out and see what's going on with it. So first off, the packaging on this thing is fantastic. Um, very high quality. I know that's just packaging, but like I was really kind of like, oh wow, this is nicely put together. This outer cover just sort of slides off and then we've got a little top sheath here that comes off as well and then right away you see the module that is like the control module of the maintainer that comes right out now I have opened this once up already before so these wires aren't all loose when you first open it they're actually all very nicely um, binded with twisty straps and things like that but I just opened it up and was playing with it earlier we've got two sets of cords here one is a standard wall outlet. That's what you're gonna plug into the wall to give power to whatever you're charging. And then we have two leads over here, positive and negative, to hook up to the battery. Nicely springed clamps. They got pretty good resistance on there, so I don't think they'll come off. These are the wires that are coming from the module. They seem a little thin, but I think they'll do the trick. It's only trickle charging 1.2 amps, you can see right there. So it's not like it's doing a ton of power through these. It's just uh, just a little bit. These feel nice in the hand and I think uh, they'll do the trick to hold on to the, the battery terminals. Coming back to the module, there's one single button that cycles the modes and there are several modes because this thing will charge different types of batteries. Uh, normal mode for like just your normal car or small equipment batteries, either 6 or 12 volts because this will do 6 or 12 volt systems. Um, and like here's Auto, marine, RV, power sports, lawn and garden. These are the types of batteries that it will um, charge and maintain. And then also it even does lithium batteries. So that's kind of cool. Back to the module here. There's one single button. This cycles through buttons and it's all this depicted in this nice little manual that they send you, which is in tons of different languages. Um, the first section here is the English. So really not that much info, but I've read through it. And it's pretty easy to use. Um, I'm gonna use it to maintain the battery on my lawnmower for the winter, since it's just gonna be sitting. Normal mode, cold mode, which is like if you have a battery that's below a certain temperature, you switch it to that and it'll help uh, amp it up and charge it up. Six volt um, normal, so if, um, <clears throat> this is for the 12 volt systems, obviously you see the 12 volt there. If you have a six volt system, you are gonna switch it to six volt. And then it also does um, charging for 12 volt lithium battery systems, kind of nice. The top here will show you like when you hook it up, the level of charge the battery is at. So 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And then when it goes into like maintain mode, this 100 just sort of blinks. And that's when you know it's just maintaining the battery state for a long period, like over the winter. Um, this is the power. Once it's plugged in, it'll, it'll illuminate. And then this little triangle icon will show you if there's a fault or something with the battery. Um, kind of like diagnostic, I guess. So this is the battery in my Snapper Pro lawnmower. Um, if you're not familiar, I bought this for my mowing business over the summer. I did not get a chance to make a video on it because shortly after buying this, I got really, really sick and I've been sick for like the past four months. I am recovering now, um, but I only got to run this thing for like 20 hours before I had to basically shut down my mowing business. I'm keeping this mower because next year I plan on doing some things with it and uh, moving to a bigger piece of property that'll require a mower. And I don't know if I'm gonna continue the mowing business or not next year, we'll see. But anyways, I wanna charge the battery over the winter. So I'm gonna reveal the two ports here. This is positive and this is negative. And just like on a car battery, hooking up the negative first is always a smart idea. So like that, nice good grip there on those, I like that. And then on the positive, just like that. And then let's move the camera and look at the unit before we plug it in the wall. So like I said, this is my Snapper Pro. It's a 36 inch zero turn machine that I bought um, on 0% financing luckily. So didn't really have to pay anything out of pocket, but I didn't get to run it that long before I got sick and had to shut down my mowing business. But anyways, that's not this video. So I've got those terminals hooked up I've got the tornado sitting right here, and then I've got the plug that goes in the wall here. We're going to check it out like 
Okay. So we've got the power illuminated. That's good. It's blinking normal. That's what we want to be in normal mode. And I think right now it's doing like the diagnostic of the battery. Or I need to select normal. Oh no. Yeah, you need to select it by long pressing on the button. So cycling, you just kind of double press. You saw it cycle through those different modes and then long press on it to uh, select the mode that you're in. So this battery, um, probably not gonna be that low. It's a new machine. Um, like I said, look, at it's already up in the maintainer position. But I did hook it up the other day and it was down at 25 and it took maybe an hour or so to get up to the 100 because it hadn't been running a while. Um, but I'm just gonna let it sit on this machine over the winter uh, just to keep that battery nice and fresh for next spring and um yeah it's just it, it's safe to just leave it it's a it's a trickle charger basically it's a battery tender now if you have a vehicle or a, a battery that's totally dead you can hook this up to it as well and it will you know it'll charge it up enough to the point where it will you know hold a charge now if you have a defective battery I don't know what it'll do in that case. It probably won't do much because the battery's defective, but if it's just totally dead from leaving the lights on or something, then this should do the trick. But it works great as a battery maintainer. So again, thanks to Top Down for sending this Tornado 1200. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. And um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos. Later.